y'all done? This is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And tonight, I'm going to show you one of my part-time EDCs. And, of course, I'm wearing a hat. Uh, in some ways, I guess you could say I'm a SIG fanboy. But I'm a fanboy of most guns. I think you probably figured that if you watched any of my channel. There's very few guns that I don't like. One of these days, maybe I'll go on and rip on some of the ones I don't like. Generally, I don't keep the ones I don't like around. I sell them, I get rid of them. But uh, let's take a look at this. This is a SIG P250 Compact. And uh, first off, let's clear it, make sure it's good to go. Nothing there, nothing inside. So, SIG P250. Uh, it looks almost just exactly like a P320, but it's an earlier version, uh, and it has a hammer, and it's total double action, and that's kind of what turns a lot of people off for this. Now, this here is a uh, 40 Smith & Wesson caliber, 40 cal, and uh, I picked it up two and a half years ago from J&G. I think it was a Pennsylvania State Police turn-in, and I picked this baby up for $289. Now that's a pretty damn good deal for a, for a SIG. Now this thing is in pristine shape. I don't know if it ever got issued to an officer. If it did, I don't see any holster wear at all on this thing, man. Just look at that baby. This thing is just pristine as it gets. Uh, I put some talon grips on it. I do that with most of my pistols. Uh, they give me a little more grip than the standard. I found only the Taurus has, and some of the Smiths have enough texture on there where I don't need anything else on it. But uh, the unique thing about this from the P320 is that double action trigger, and you'll see that hammer come out. And a lot of people have issues with it, but, but this is a nice, smooth, straight pulling trigger. It just pulls straight on through and then breaks. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of a car trigger. Maybe it's a little bit heavier than a car trigger. There's, I love the cars. And one of these days I'll do a review on my cars. But I've found a trick to shooting this thing extremely accurate is, you know, as you're aiming in, I'm pulling that trigger back a little bit and then I'm gonna get my final aim point and then it breaks rather than pulling it all the way through, trying to hold it on target, pull it back, final aim point, breaks. And this thing is dead on balls accurate, I'll tell you. This extremely nice shooting pistol, a uh, very accurate pistol if you can get used to this double action hammer thing. Uh, it does have night sights, three dot night sights. <clears throat> um, this has two magazines that come with it, 13 round magazines. And uh, let's see what else about this fella. It's just a fun gun to shoot, extremely accurate. It's a very easy gun to break down. I'll go over some of that, breaking it down and, and that later on. I did take this out last week to the range and shot it so you get to see that. Of course, it's got the standard Picatinny rail. Uh, it is a little bit <clears throat> uh, shorter than the full size. And so I guess you could call, that's why they call it compact. But uh, yeah, there it is, compact medium. It says it right on there. I'm a little light out here, kind of crap tonight. I think I forgot one of my lights. But anyway, uh, what I'll do is I'll do a little nuts and bolts breakdown tabletop, talk a little bit about it, compare it with the uh, one of my other guns so you can kind of get a comparison of the two. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, this extremely fun gun, um, it has very aggressive gyrations on the back. There is nothing on the front. Um, does have the finger grip on the very front of the trigger guard. I don't particularly use that very much. I'll just go standard that way. 
My hands are not the biggest in the world. They're kind of medium sized, small, and fat, chubby. But uh, what I'll do is let's take a kind of a closer look, compare this to uh, say a, a Glock 19 size weapon and we'll go from there. All right, so there she is. Get you a little closer up on that. See, this is a compact medium. And uh, you can see that this thing is just in really good shape. Pick this thing up, uh, as police turn in, and, and you can keep an eye quite a bit, whether it's Buds or Classic or J&G, &G, and they're every once in a while getting police turn ins. Lately, I think I saw a bunch of Smiths that were police turn ins. But uh, they're just a tiny bit of little wear there on that magazine release, a little bit on that slide stop. But other than that, this thing is just a sweet pistol. Now let's go ahead and compare it to a like size pistol. And what I've got here is a Glock 32, which is basically a Glock 19. Except this is for 357 SIG. I've already done a review on this guy. But you can see, let me get my hands out of the way here, that these two are approximately the same size. So you get this compact thing going, and that I think pertains to the 320 as well. You're going to get a Glock 19 size pistol. Now I used to have a SIG P320 compact and it was exactly the same size as this matter of fact they look like clone brothers except for this crazy hammer in the back now i'll let you take a look at the hammer action again so it is one straight pull same amount of tension the whole way through but what i do is i get to about right there and do my final aim and then it breaks and when you get that down this uh, this dude is Accurate as it gets. Very accurate pistol. But, uh, yeah, you just compare it almost exact to a Glock 19 size pistol. They're approximately the same width. I guess the SIG's a wee bit wider. They're, of course, both double stack. The SIG's a double stack. 13 round plus one. So you got 14 40s with this guy. And there is a conversion setup. You'll be able to get a 357 SIG barrel with this. And uh, the magazines, when you look at the mag and it says on the magazine 40 and 357 SIG. So they'll, they'll handle both. But guys, this is this is a nice pistol, so I would keep an eye out for a SIG P3, or P, oh, come on now, a SIG P250 uh, as a police trade-in. Hey, you're getting SIG quality. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll uh, show you the, the, the range time and then, uh, you know, show you how to break this thing down. It's pretty basic. And then uh, a wrap up on it, and that'll be it for the Sig P3 or 250. Sig P250. Come on, it's a Monday, damn it. All right, so All right. here we go. P250, sweet dough, all right. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, it's a couple of days later since the last time. I've had lots of things going, so we'll verify we're empty. Yeah, we are still empty. And uh, let's give you the nuts and bolts and breakdown on this guy. Um, of course, this is a P250 uh, SIG, and it, this this particular one is a compact, and it's a 
40 Smith and Wesson. And uh, it weighs oh, just a shy under 27 ounces empty and about 33 ounces uh, loaded. Uh, it's got a 3.9 inch barrel and the capacity is 13 plus one. Um, it does have kind of a interesting SIG type of finish on it. It's kind of a Cerakote dark. You have a polymer uh, frame and a, a stainless steel uh, slide. Um, the slide finish is nitron black. The overall length of the gun is 7.2 inches. And uh, the height, well, let me see here. Let me get my tape measure. Let me turn on a lot of light over here. There we go. Probably should have done this before I start this whole thing. I think. Oh, well, that's all right. Let's see here. Overall height of this bad boy is a little over five inches. So you got a little over five. Width is just right at an inch. And, uh, of course, it has a tinny rail. Um, you've got <clears throat> a slide stop right here and on this side. So it's ambidextrous slide stop. Of course, it does not have a manual safety. Um, and then you've got uh, this tape down lever here. So you just slide it back, rotate the tape down lever that way. And then, and it just slides right off. Okay, so there's the interior of that bad boy. And right here, this is not a captive spring, if I remember right. Let me take that out and we'll see. No, it is not, okay. So you can get that right out of there. Some people don't like those where you gotta try it coax it in there. I usually use my hand to feel where it's going, that guide rod, and then put that baby right in. Uh, then you got to make me, I'm sure that it's not poking out the end or anything. Uh, pretty simple to put back together. Just put her back in there and then flip that back. And there you go. So I, like I said, I got this as a police trade-in for about $289 from J&G about two, two and a half years ago. Uh, I noticed new ones of these, they still making them going for about 550 bucks, but they're all out of stock, of course. Um, I've put talent grips on this like I do most of my pistols. Um, it's a damn good gun, and just like I indicated earlier. Just uh, you get used to this double action uh, trigger, because that's all you got. I mean, even when it slide, comes back, it's not setting your trigger back there. Trigger is double action. It's not coming back other than when you pull the trigger. This hammer is just, uh, it's the nature of this thing. Now, if you can get used to shooting it, Pull it back, do your final little aiming adjustment, and then it breaks rather than just pulling it all the way through. Although, you know, it's still not that bad. Um, <clears throat> since this is a 40 Smith, uh, I don't find the recoil to be that bad. Uh, this is a good, accurate gun to shoot, and... I guess we'll just kind of wrap things up right here. Do I recommend this pistol? Well, hell yeah, I do. This is a, a quality pistol, world class. I think nothing fancy I could put it as one of the uh, world class pistol. Of course, that was 10 years ago whenever he reviewed one of these P250s, but I got the thing on how to properly aim and shoot this thing watching him. But, uh, hey, when I saw this come up on J&G as a police turn-in, 
I jumped on it and I've not been uh, unhappy about it. This is a compact, so it's not the full size. It's just about the size of a Glock 19, like I showed you earlier. And uh, it fits. I use this as a concealed carry. Oh, every once in a while, I'll kind of rotate things around. I've got this I carry. I carry Glock 32. I carry a CAR 45, CW 45. And uh, a VP9. I've got a, a Kimber Micro Elite. Um, you know, there are even times I carry my uh, Taurus G2C. But, you know, I kind of rotate things around. I don't know. Uh, do I give it thumbs up? Yes. This is an excellent pistol. If you ever get a chance to get one, take it. I mean, if you're not in, you know, a little bit uh, scared of this double action hammer thing, uh, you're not going to be disappointed with this pistol. So I'm going to give it definitely a thumbs up. And uh, this is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. As always, God bless Texas. God bless the United States of America because we're going to need it. There's a lot of weird crap going on out there. And uh, long live the Republic.